Yes, I'm going to be committed to basically uh, checking my emails and returning uh, my uh, reaching out and saying, you know, people, and I'll be making sure that we're going to get this flow going. I will be responding to your emails. Yes, Rob. We need an interpreter. Jamie and uh, Charles. Charles. Hi all, this is Jamie uh, from HowlRound. Um, we are committed to sharing out all of the photos, the contact information, um, all of the uh, forthcoming reports um, that come as a result of this gathering, as well as being a support to amplify the work that comes out of uh, the working group. So um, please consider writing about this work for HowlRound. Consider live streaming events that happen. We have a fantastic crew in Jules and Storm and Chase. And consider thinking about how to uh, connect the national community consistently with this work. HowlRound is here to be a resource to you, and we want to support um, that moving forward. Uh, my name is Charles. I am. Uh, I work for the Mass Cultural Council. Delighted to be in this room. Uh, I am a hearing person. I identify as queer. I use the pronouns he, him, his. Um, I'd like to thank my dear friend EJ and uh, Jody Steiner and Chris Robinson and other people for helping me get into this room. And I'd like to thank all of you for letting me be here. I have been scribbling, scribbling, scribbling notes, agendas, that's what I do. Uh, but mostly I just want to speak from the heart. Uh, and again, to thank you. Um, for people in the New England region, uh, I am ready to be one of those resources. So thank you. Thanks, everybody. Hi, I'm Rob, Robert. I am committed to do some search with new ideas and to come up with new ideas from all my contacts. And I'm gonna be giving feedback in a way that basically will support so that this can, we can, you know, grow your ideas. My commitment is to continue to work as a part of our working group and to touch base on a weekly basis to keep things growing. Hi, I'm Jill. My commitment is that I want to help make the National Deaf Theater Association become a reality. Uh, hi, I'm Sarah, and uh, my goal is to use uh, any kind of skills I can to help us uh, form a good foundation for course models uh, for the National Deaf Theater Organization. Kala? Hi, I'm Kala, and my commitment is to recruit more young deaf people to get involved in theater, people from more diverse groups, deaf blind, people of color, LGBTQ, all kinds of people, so that we have greater representation in theater. We need to reach out to people and let them know what they're capable of and that they shouldn't be afraid to get involved. So let's lift people up and get them to be a part of this.
Hello. I'm Mervyn. I promise to break through my fears and work with y'all and be a part of this group and reach out to gay, lesbian, transgender people to expand representation. And that's it for now. That's all I got to say. Hi, I'm Deborah. Ready? Wait for the camera. <laughs> Good? Okay. Uh, hi, I'm Deborah. Um, it's been wonderful to be here this week, um, or this weekend. Um, I'm one of the very few, if not the only, administrator here. So my commitment is to reach out to other arts administrators, not just theater, um, but other administrators that I know. Um, to join this conversation and uh, support this fantastic effort that's been happening. Um, and also for myself to reach out to um, administrators in the deaf community who maybe are not involved in the arts and I can um, learn from them more about the community to help me do my job better. So that's my commitment. Thanks. I am Richard, and my commitment to you is to take all the information that I've learned and the resources that I've learned from all of you and use that to strengthen my own knowledge and in turn provide resources and knowledge that I have to anyone who possibly needs it. In addition, I'm, my other commitment is to continue to work on this uh, deaf actor database that myself and my group have been working on and get that done for you within the next three months. Three. I'm Natasha, and my commitment is to continue to stay in touch with my group as things happen. I'm very excited to be a part of the writer's retreat, and I want to see it really happen in 2020. That's our vision, and that's my commitment. Hi, I'm Nikki. My confirmation is commitment is to resource and to touch out to all the states to see all of you. That is my commitment to be in touch with all of you. I'm Michelle. My commitment is to focus on my group's goal of the writer's retreat to keep this ball rolling and to continue to work within the deaf community. Hi, my name is Kaylin, and my commitment to my group is to have a play, playwright by 2020, and I am committed to also teaching and giving a workshop across the country to start planting the seed for the future, for future writers to create future material from these young, talented people coming up. That is my commitment. So I'm really looking so forward to that, and I'm excited about that. I'm Amy. Oops. What? Where do I look? OK. I'm Amy. Boy, this has been amazing. What an energized group. My commitment is to keep this energy going, like a family. You will never be able to get rid of me. I'm sorry. I'm here to stay. Hi, my name is Sabina. My commitment is to help improve deaf theater and to help it find great talent and writers and writing scripts. Hi, I'm Aaron, and I'm the old white guy of the group. I've been here the whole time and you've been putting up with me. My promise is to think about the next seven 
generations as the world changes and becomes more diverse. <laughs> and I want to copy that ritual of your hand, my hand, together. Hi, I'm Joey. My commitment is that every day I'm going to recognize myself as a white, straight male, intellectually cited and privileged, cited and, privileged and to keep <laughs> mindful of the other artists that are here and help to bring up my colleagues so that they can grow and develop as well. Hi. First, I love you people. This has been a special, special weekend. Oh, this is Fred Beam speaking. And I promise, even though I'm a man of color, a man of many colors, our hearts are all the same color. And it is my heartfelt pledge to this group to continue to endorse and support diversity, equity, and inclusion in the world of deaf theater. We need more of that. Hi. I'm Albert, you can call me EJ, and my commitment is to continue never to give up, but to continue to fight from here on out and from the past to share the information of what I've learned and historically to spread it for the younger generation to learn from us. That is my commitment and my goal, which I am committed to, and thank all of you. Hi, my name's Monique, and I commit to continue to do the work I've been doing and to make good use of my MFA degree. Hi, I'm Joanna, and my commitment is to finish, you know, being afraid and saying that I can't do this and can't do that. I am now courageous realizing that I can do. And I am committed to collaborating with people within my circles and outside my circles and to network. And anytime I'm traveling, I will try to reach out to all of you and never give up, but to stay reconnected at all times and stay connected with everyone. I want to continue to do productive work. Thank you. Hi, I'm Wayne Betts, and first, I want to say it's been an honor to be here as an outsider. I am not a member of the theater group. I've been a guest here, and throughout the weekend, it's been an honor to be part of this collaborative work. I represent a private business, and I see an opportunity for partnership with Deaf Theater. It's my commitment to use the team of talented marketing people and uh, pr film producers that we have to create a platform, a national platform to enhance visibility. And that's my commitment, to share the talent, my talent from Convo with you as a community to help amplify your message. Hi, I'm Patty, Patty Ling. As long as I've been working with Deaf Spotlight, I am committed to you know, looking forward to finding different ways and staying in touch with you through Facebook, hiring you, and marketing, and whatever way I can give you support. Hi, I'm Brian. It's been an inspirational weekend. The love in this room is incredible. And I hope that this love and inspiration can be brought back and I plan to share it with my students and pay it forward because they're the future and we need to pave the way for them. So I'm planning to bring back all that I absorbed here and to share it with them so they can continue to do the same. I'm on camera? Oh, there I am. Look at this okay. camera over here. Okay. Wow, your comments. 
beautiful stories and contributions that you have brought here. You know, you have created a light. You know, it's like the river flowing. The thing I've been waiting for. I've been waiting for the light to turn on. We no longer do we have to wait in the dark. The light's there, and now we can. We are there. To just grab that light. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. I'm sorry. My name is Ryan. Ryan Schlett. It's my commitment to finish a project that I've had on hold, that I've been just waiting to get done. I'm gonna get it done. That's my promise. Hi, I'm JW. My commitment is to provide all the resources that I have and to share my resource and to share it among everybody else to continue this big expansion of our future and for our younger generation for their future as well and to keep it going forward. Andrew. Hi everyone, I'm Andrew and I commit to see each and every person here again. This will not be the last time I see you and also my commitment is to get my degree and break through the barriers and hire more deaf artists and deaf-blind artists and get people jobs. Jasper? Hi, I'm Jasper. Co-founder of PTT, Pro Tactile Theater. I am going to make sure that I'm going to continue to basically, you know, network with the deafblind community. And I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you for sharing your resources, your experiences, your talent. I mean, the list just goes on and on. And I've really been inspired from being here. And so we're going to take this information back. It's got a lot to think about. And we're going to continue to do this work. And I want to thank all of you. It's been an amazing weekend, and I'm looking forward to working with each and every one of you in the future. So let's keep this going, okay? I'm Yash, and my commitment, I promise to continue to provide support to support you, to receive support from you, to share my resources and talent that we have at PTT, and to collaborate and reach out. And thank you also for all that I received from this weekend. It's been amazing. Wow, hello, hi, I'm Robin. Rachel, I'm committed to two things. Protract training, I got that on my schedule. Protractile. And also to support the group in theater writing. Uh, in the theater working group of the Playwright Retreat. I mean, Interpreter missed what it was. This is Alexandria, and it's my personal commitment to do two things. One is to finish the play that I have on a shelf. I need to get that thing done. And number two is to be the best collaborator I can be with my working group, to be that liaison. That's my commitment. I'm Ethan. I'm committed to two roles. First, I'm a deaf artist, and I also work at the Gallaudet program and the art theater program, and I will always be mindful of our shared resources now and to carry that forth and to spread that. Thank you. Hi, everyone. 
DJ here. I promise to support any and all requests that come my way through Deaf West that springs from the work we've done together here. And our capacity to support the arts and to do all that I can do for all of you. I also promise to support three plays by deaf playwrights by 2025. That's my commitment. And I promise as well to help see a summer training program be established by 2025. Those are my goals and commitments. I'm going to speak for Annie, who had to leave yesterday, but she emailed the group. Uh, she'd like me to share her commitment. Annie says that she is committed to work with each individual in this room to make deaf theater happen on a national level, and not only a national level, but a recognized national level. Thank you, everyone. Remember to take your things from the altar. And just again, I'd like to remind all of us that we put our hearts out on the line in this work together. And don't forget to use the reflection booth. If you haven't yet, please do that. And thank you for everything you brought and contributed and shared. Keep in touch. Please communicate with us after today. This is just the beginning. I know goodbyes are hard. This has been quite a time and an experience, but this isn't goodbye. This is just until next time. And it's time for us to close. That's a wrap. Thanks. Enjoy the rest of your weekend.